Ah, spring. A time for new beginnings, budding young love, and changing out our wardrobes. Hey. Hey there fashion friends, welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have decided to join me here today. Before we go on, let me just mention that today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you very much Squarespace for bringing this video to everybody today. Squarespace is an online platform that allows for effortless building of a website, blog, or online store. But more on them later. For today's episode, we are talking about how to create a capsule wardrobe out of your existing wardrobe or your existing clothing pieces or closet for spring. I'd say for me and probably others who enjoy, you know, a capsule wardrobe or a minimalist wardrobe, even though it might not be all new clothes or anything, it's still like maybe clothes I haven't seen in a while or it could be pieces that I've seen all year round, but maybe it's just now I get to sort of style them differently, uh, whatever it may be. It's just like a fun refresh or a fun change up. So I'm speaking to how I create a seasonal capsule wardrobe with modules inside of it. The good thing about that is that pretty much you can translate this into any approach that you are wanting to take. Maybe it's that you just, in general, maybe you're not even somebody that wants like, you know, a 24-7 capsule wardrobe. Maybe you just want a capsule wardrobe for a specific purpose or, you know, a module for a specific purpose. Or maybe you're a maximalist and you just want, a, you know, to be a little bit more organized. And I truly think capsule wardrobes aren't just for the minimalist. I think they're pretty much for anybody that wants an organized, efficient wardrobe. All right, so now that that whole spiel's over, let's get into it. Okay, so step number one is figure out my modules. So usually when I'm going to make a seasonal wardrobe, I like to figure out my modules because I definitely like little specific themes within that module, little specific focuses. So modules for me are a smaller little collection that's within the capsule wardrobe that has a hyper-focused theme. So whether that's a specific color that you want to, you know, focus on, a specific print, maybe it's a specific style mood, maybe it's a specific lifestyle, uh, whatever it is, it's going to be that little hyper focus so that you don't have to dedicate or overthink the whole entire capsule wardrobe together. I'd say this is a great approach to those of you that have a lot of different kind of lifestyle things happening. So maybe it's that you, you know, work in an office, so you need an office module. Maybe you're also a mom, so you kind of need that mom life module. So for my spring capsule wardrobe, I'm gonna be creating three different modules. So I'll actually be sharing these modules over the next few weeks with individual videos so that I can show you the specific pieces and different outfits for each of these modules. And then after those videos, we will be concluding with a video that gives an overall view of all three modules then integrated together to create the spring capsule wardrobe. So if you like capsule wardrobes, definitely stay tuned this month. Speaking of creating something, before we go any further, let's talk about why I love today's sponsor, Squarespace. So let's just start off with that. I may be a tech savvy person when it comes to filming and editing videos, but when it comes to building a website, not so much. Yeah, girl, no. So I've used a few different hosts or a few different platforms for creating my website, but my most recent one for emilywheatley.com, I chose to go with Squarespace. Squarespace won me over because of its intuitive user-friendly tools, making it a lot less frustrating of a process to building and maintaining my website. But what really pulled me in is the aesthetic of the different ready-made themes I could use as a jump off point for my site. After I was a user, I was also really impressed with how it integrated with my Google account and other social media outlets. So if you're considering building your own website, definitely check out the link down below at www.squarespace.com slash Emily Wheatley. And if you decide to move forward with that website, make sure to use my discount code Emily Wheatley to receive 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. All right, 
not Squarespace. Okay, number two, shop my own closet. So once I have those modules established, once I know what sort of focuses I'm going for, I usually will pick one module to start with. And what do I do then? I go to my closet. So this is kind of where you just wanna have some fun. Take some time to yourself. Maybe you put some music on, maybe you have a show on in the background. Maybe it's a glass of wine, a cocktail, a mocktail, whatever, whatever it is. And just kind of enjoy this experience, have some fun with it. What I'll sort of let myself do at this point is just go through and see what pieces sort of speak to me. See what pieces I'm maybe really inspired by or pieces that I'm really excited for that season or pieces that really speak to the specific module that I'm creating can then kind of go from there, build from there. Which brings us to step three, go through the checklist. Okay, so the checklist is going to be my sort of capsule wardrobe steps. Um, if you've watched my previous episodes on how to build a capsule wardrobe, you know that I have five specific items that I go through on my checklist to make sure that I'm covering all bases for my capsule wardrobe. These are the items that you should have on your checklist to make sure that you're running through to really create that efficient wardrobe. So the first items that you want to choose are your anchor pieces. The anchor pieces are the pieces that are going to anchor the wardrobe. They are the pieces that are going to be the focus and the rest of the wardrobe is going to revolve around. So these are the pieces that you want to make sure that you're inspired by, that you're excited about, that really are driving this wardrobe. But if that's not the case, sometimes it's not. Maybe you don't have like specific items. Sometimes you might not have that like specific focused piece that is, you know, inspiring the wardrobe. Maybe it's that you take the more straightforward approach and decide that your your anchor pieces are gonna be bottoms because having bottoms as your anchor piece definitely makes it so much easier for building the rest of the wardrobe because then it sort of acts as like the same sort of structure you would use to building an outfit. I always start my outfits with bottoms. Next is going to be the pairing pieces and the pairing pieces are the pieces that are pairing with your anchor pieces. They are the pieces that are completing the outfit. So as an example, if you use all bottoms in your anchor pieces, then all your pairing pieces are pretty much gonna be tops. If you have a more mixed anchor piece collection, you know, maybe it's a bottom, a top, and a blazer, then yes, you might have to kind of really think about your pairing pieces, but the key is to the best of your ability, all the pairing pieces should go with all of the anchor pieces. But no matter what, this should create completed outfits. The next one is layering pieces. So this is just as it sounds, choosing your layering pieces. The next, you know, layer, the next piece to your outfit, that's gonna add a little bit more dimension. I always say you wanna have a diverse range, so making sure that each layering piece kind of serves a different purpose or has a different silhouette, different shape, so that you're getting a lot out of those layering pieces. And again, to the best of your ability, you wanna make sure those layering pieces are going with all of your pairing pieces and all of your anchor pieces. Then we have top off pieces. Top off pieces can be a few different things. They can include shoes, uh, your outerwear, and uh, like jumpsuits or dresses. So basically pieces that can can either you know stand on their own they can really just top off a look on their own um, or something that's literally gonna top it off like a coat or a jacket or something that is going to top off the look for the footwear and lastly we have the sprinkle pieces which is going to be your accessories so these are obviously the pieces that are gonna be you know that little cherry on top that little accent to the look maybe sometimes you don't use it maybe you're not a big accessory person and that's totally fine but yes this is going to be just those pieces that are gonna just add a little bit of interest um, whether that's necklaces scarves hats purses whatever it may be, this is where you're gonna bring in those items. Just keep in mind four sprinkle pieces when it comes to modules or capsule wardrobes, you really wanna make sure that these items are going to accent the looks and not take away from the looks, but as well as that, you wanna make sure they are going with everything so that there's no thought you know, when it comes to using those pieces that if it comes to the end of creating your outfit, you can just easily pull one of those pieces to you know add a little you know, cherry on top. Number four is figure out the gaps. When creating a capsule wardrobe, and as somebody that is a minimalist, I'm trying to create a wardrobe that has that long-term efficiency. I don't think you need to be buying new things every single season. It is okay sometimes to bring new pieces in if you have those gaps that, you know, are kind of needing to be filled, that you can kind of see 
in there like, okay, if I had a black cardigan, it would un unlock a lot um, within my wardrobe. It would unlock a lot of different outfits and make this wardrobe even more efficient. Maybe there is no gaps that need to be filled. Maybe you've been working on these wardrobes for years and years and you've gotten yourself there where you pretty much you know, have the quality pieces, have the pieces you need, and it's just this kind of easy rotation every season. Okay, step number five, organize it. There's a few different ways to go about this, and it's really kind of up to your own preference or your lifestyle. Um, when I'm creating my capsule wardrobes, I have a rolling rack that I like to pull my pieces to, to kind of separate and be able to look at really easily and kind of shift around and, you know, visually be able to work out the capsule wardrobe. Um, but then once I'm done, I like to put my stuff back into the closet. So two different approaches that I've taken over the years is one is once I've created that seasonal wardrobe, I then will store away the stuff that I'm not going to be wearing for that season to just sort of help refine my closet or help refine my wardrobe. So that's one option. I actually like that. It just feels very luxurious and very minimalist and clean in my closet. The other approach is if you're somebody that doesn't want to go that way, maybe you don't have storage space, maybe you don't have that option, or you're just somebody that wants to have the other pieces accessible just in case, then another approach would be to section it off. So you can section off that collection in its own section of your closet or of your wardrobe. What I've done in the past, not for my actual own personal wardrobe, but in my old job as a visual manager, when I was kind of planning how to curate a store, I would use a rolling rack because uh, you could kind of see visually how things flowed together. And what I would use is either another hanger with like a note on there of the pieces or of the themed collection in between each of the sections. So you kind of always have that inventory um, and that can kind of break up the modules or do it with even um, the spacers, you know, like the um, kind of what they use in stores to space uh, sizes. All right, so there it is. That is how to build a capsule wardrobe out of your existing pieces or your existing closet. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind when you're creating a capsule wardrobe in, at any capacity is that there are really no rules. It really ultimately comes down to what works for you. It's really about just getting kind of the most out of your wardrobe, making it efficient and effortless. Whatever you need to do to make that work for you, that's what you should do, be doing. Um, I think there's a lot of great videos out there on making capsule wardrobes, mine included, right? But I think at the end of the day, really, you know, you can take each of those things and really just translate it into what really works for you. Because at the end of the day, that is all that matters when it comes to a capsule wardrobe, is having a wardrobe that is efficient and effortless for you. If you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and make sure to click the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. Okay, you have a beautiful, lovely, amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.